Hi Auntie Society, welcome back to the Auntie Social Planet and today we are checking out chapters 70 and 71 of Tower of God season 2 and we had the games finally starting the workshop battle so super exciting, a little bit complicated for my brain because we started to get into things about like making bets and putting together teams and stuff by paying for people. My, my brain blanked out because anytime there's like a mention of money my brain's just like we don't need that information but definitely the biggest twist was when we had Misang coming out as the scariest possible person in this whole round that we're doing of the workshop battles which is baffling to me because that would not have been my prediction we saw prince pretty badly beaten up and then a very scary shot of Misang before the chapter ended so that was a whole experience i am very concerned about what has happened to her and why she is behaving in the way that she is i guess we'll have to find out if she maybe is the heaviest hitter in this one and also if i sound incredibly rough during this it's because i got the virus that shall not be named again i don't want to talk about it but i'm also incredibly bored we're going to read some comics even though maybe we should be resting because people made me an adult and trusted me to make my own life decisions and that was a mistake so we're gonna read some tower of god let's check out this chapter okay terrifying me saying let's see what our girls got going on because this outfit is not telling me horrific killer but the facial expression is a bit different awk raptor what do you mean a bit different does this look anything like the little cinnamon bun that we have been traveling with for like the whole season i'm sorry is this person's name a leg or is there a different pronunciation to it because like it could be there are some odd names every once in a while with the regulars and that's okay i was just not expecting someone to try and be aggressive while their name is leg how come when people are like we i misung is like striking fear into my soul does it feel different from a distance Ooh, look how fast she is hey this shot though like the develops as you scroll down like he's fully in the air see now we're getting some appropriate reactions to what's going on good shot with the two of them on either side of like none never judge a book by its cover even though we all do okay just don't even tell me that when you go book shopping you do not pick up a book just because the cover looks good that's what the covers are for it's workshop battles i like how ran like doesn't even look dressed <laughs> like everyone else shook ran probably thinking about it different things busy yeah she beats just gets some inside knowledge <laughs> super me <-sing. laughs> oh it's the flower interesting i was wondering about the flowers i didn't know if it was just the outfit but we did get a good angle on it good foreshadowing like that witch look don't bring witches into this okay unless she's literally a witch i don't actually know but like witches aren't even that bad it's all false advertising did you just call prince weak don't do that oh geez why why are we going Coraline? i guess it kind of dolls also uncomfortable but still that was a shift i don't like the voice that my brain has given her to say all this i feel like they probably don't need to say this part but take what you can get oh i wonder if misang did it because there was that promise of becoming way more powerful because we know that she feels very insecure about the fact that she thinks that she's part of the reason like why bomb got hurt when they were on that one floor test and then also her feeling like she's a hindrance to the group and that kind of a thing like she really feels like she has something to prove so i wonder if she decided to take the flower because there was that promise of it'll make you stronger and like helpful in the workshop battles i love the kind of like flame coloring around her though the one that's just flying through the air the commentator like bubbles over it oh it breaks my heart how many sense like feels so guilty about it and stuff especially since she was the last person to talk to bob before he left and then like fully left with Hoog. So I'm sure that she feels guilt with that too. Could she have done something? Oh yeah, her previous teams too. I just want to give Misang a hug, but like when she's chilled out a lot more. I do like that Aquaraptor is just like, cool, we have to get rid of the flower. Unfazed. He's, we just gotta, we gotta help her. That's the job. Probably a good motivator for Prince though. The going nuns just like, wow, manipulated him completely. <laughs> oh dear. Hello. I feel like this will not work out. Yeah, I didn't have a good feeling. Oh, Wang Nan. I wonder if it's not so much just the borrowing powers thing, like the whole being made into a doll ability thing because I don't fully know what it is, or if there's like more to Misang and like her abilities in general and this just like unlocks it, right? Because I'm assuming it gives her access to way more like Shinsu, so maybe it's just this is combined with having access to more Shinsu and being able to control it and not having that 
hurdle of who am I to be that powerful, right? Because Mi Sung sees herself as weak, so she behaves as if she's weak, as opposed to this version of her who doesn't have that mindset. I don't know if she's thinking all that hard because it seems to be a little bit of an empty vessel thing going on, but it's like that perception of not having to get over that barrier of I am weak, therefore she's digging into more of her abilities than she would normally, and then has the Shinsu to boost it. You can, Prince. You just gotta put yourself in- you gotta stop doubting. That's what I've just said. Pep talk. Nice! Especially since we know Prince has a lot of power behind him. Like, he is quite strong, and he's also quite good at it. Don't be mean to her, though, because she's still in there somewhere. It might be enough to snap her out a little bit, though. Or just enrage her. That is also an outcome. I do you like that they name their attacks? We would, too. Like, I'm saying that as of who would definitely name all of my like moves and attacks certain names because i thought they sounded cool i've watched enough anime that's how my brain works nice teamwork let's get our girl back no somebody hug her because i can't i'm stuck not living in the world which is probably a good thing i would not last a day i'm gonna be honest i am extremely trusting and have health reasons for why i would not be able to do much on like a physical level it's probably best that i'm not in the tower but like someone hug her for me oh the i'm here i love their friendship yes good yay though we have some winners so akraptor wengnan prince what about Misang? Oh, the piggyback ride. I love dad Aukraptor. Single dad Aukraptor is like my favorite. Oh, okay, we're doing it all at once now. Cool. I thought that we were gonna break it up, but apparently not. Prince is just, hey, fight me. I like to see the old spirit coming back. Oh, man. It's a little bit dark there for a second, but okay. He has to look down on you. You're on the bottom level. Hello, bunny. Who's... Faragar. Am not pronouncing that correctly, but who? Should I know that name? Because I don't. I'm gonna look at the- I'm gonna snoop at the other ones and see who's gonna show up. Because we have Yua Yun. I just feel like I shouldn't call her Yun because of, like, family name things. I don't know, I call Kun Kun, so I guess it's just, like, our Yun. Like, our Kun. Another Blitz, who is creepy and likes to take pets. Or Yang, my sweet boy. Oh, hello. Mad dog. What does that mean? I don't know if I want to know what that means. Oh no. Okay. Sure. How long has it been since Go Seng was like with Mi Seng though? Because I feel like it's been a while. I'm just like used to them being together. I do feel like Prince talked to Mi Seng that way because he was trying to snap her out of it in a way. I don't think it was coming from an actual place of hurt. But I think some of it may have been if she voluntarily became a doll because she wanted to become stronger. He's saying you can't do it that way. Like you can't put yourself in danger. You can't give up who you are just to get stronger like you have to maintain who you are as a person and find your own strength and then in that way that's how you actually become strong i do like they're all just like how dare you oh, that would be me in the moment though as much as i'm like understanding in retrospect being like removed from the situation if i was actually there i'd be like how dare sit down mister we are going to have a conversation about this in full parent mode yeah i'd be like tell her sorry don't let this one in I don't trust all of the like sparkles and stuff around her after that picture with all of the like dark swirls and things. Is it Oryang coming to check? Is Teddy Bear being a sweetheart? Because I know he is. I just love him so much. Not more than Rock, but he's a close second. Of course he's worried. He's just conflicted. Also, helped lock up Hots. Can we remember that Hots is locked up? Thank you. How's he? Oh dear. Where? Where? It doesn't say Oryang, though. It did on the other graphic. Is it a translation thing? Shouldn't he be right here? Who's Cookie? So I got distracted. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Focus. Yes. This. Yes. Quattro? Look, I don't speak romance languages other than French. That's all I've got. But yeah, he's the crazy one, yes. One of the crazy ones. I feel like that's not enough specification at this point. There are enough crazy ones that I feel like I need to specifically say which crazy one. Oh good, we're fighting on top of pillars again. That turned out great last time. I bet Endorsey is just like awesome. I love when we have to fight on top of pillars. That never goes sideways on me. Of course you can. You got this. You're way better than you give yourself credit. Oh, I love how she feels safer because Oryang is there. Because even though they're like not on like a team, we know that Teddy Bear is going to look out for her. There's no way he wouldn't. I like the difference of, like, strategic, thinking it through. Seems kind of impulsive. Sunshine mode. That would be me making bets. And then a little bit intense. But you know what? Whatever works for you. Oh, hello. Hi. What are these? Are we 
Bane? What's going on? There's just a lot of yelling and growling happening. And then glossing. I kind of love the reactionary shots of her just like being there. Oh, her glasses though. See, everyone looks crazy. That's why what I'm saying. I'm like, I cannot just say the crazy one anymore. Because there's a few. In her defense, she got something on her glasses. Oh, and teddy bear coming in strong. We love it. That's our boy right there. Oh, don't cry though. I look how she's about to cry and Teddy Bear's just like, I don't know how to deal with this situation. Oh, it's you again. Hi. Fair enough. Choose your battles. Unless you're this particular person. Then he just wants to fight everyone. <laughs> yeah, they're all crazy, aren't they? Ooh. Flame going up against flame. I think it's very interesting though to have someone like Quantro and Ian with like very similar powers, but like on different ends of how they view it right because yin sees her flames as dangerous and she's like scared of that she's scared of how she is she's scared of not being able to control them she's scared of the damage that her abilities can do and because of that she holds back she doesn't get involved with other people she feels a lot of guilt for using her abilities so contrasting that with someone who takes a ton of joy in the like chaos and destruction of fire and what they're capable of doing is really interesting to see that match up between them because who wins the one who's very calculated and controlling of that ability or the one that just lets their fire abilities do whatever they want i love a good character moment though of like the matchup of them i mean you probably can't burn him alive so go for it girl i think it's also probably like a difference in the ability of like you have the blitz family who's known for their fire abilities and things like that maybe it's a little bit more i don't know accepted by the blitz family to have abilities that involve fire as opposed to the yins but i think also there's a feeling of being proper and like the image to the yin family that i'm sure was imposed on her that makes her think that like she needs to have control regardless if that's like an actual ability like we're saying here but like control in the sense of like control of yourself composure control of your emotions control of what you're saying and your opinions and things like that yes the mad dog that we just did not go back to can we maybe get some info on him he seems a little intense a lot intense take it back glowing red eyes usually means quite an intense person i like how onyx just like who decided that seems like ren i like how we've got like the collection of characters that are just like strongest who gets to decide those titles no one can stop him that just feels like a challenge who's gonna be the one lots of people seem to be entering the workshop battle for like various reasons there seems to be something about the like prizes that people are more committed to than normal Never. i mean he's a human ignition weapon maybe he'll be okay i don't want him to fight anyone honestly i would be much happier if teddy bear was just like chilling and living his life but here we are in the tower and fighting is inevitable we have a challenger see he looks big and strong but that might just be overcompensating the <laughs> way he just walks past he's not interested it's not gonna work out well i'm just calling it now he was like i'm gonna walk past you and have you to the back of me he does not see you as a threat oh my god i don't know what i was expecting but that was not it okay are we noticing viola maybe that's why maybe he wanted to join because he had heard about viola and the whole like slayer nominee thing okay so mad dog because of the fighting ground which makes me uncomfortable that it exists but honestly in the tower how is it all that different from what's happening in like a bunch of the different parts of the tower i don't like that we're calling them canines aren't they people okay so he isn't associated with fug anymore and then like that might be why he's here then again because it's not just let me fight someone who's strong like this slayer nominee this viole but it could also be like a vendetta thing right because if we have the other fug slayer who was in charge of this fighting ground that he was in that was born into maybe as a bone to pick with Fug. oh okay so they could have just kept reading look sometimes i try to pretend that i'm clever cool he seems to be a little bit murdery though so like maybe so i got distracted by the huzzah <laughs> he does seem quite strong and quite murdery though so like maybe we don't fight him just a thought just something to put out there i feel so bad for me saying <laughs> like i'm laughing because i don't want to get into my feelings but her just being so desperate to be powerful and to not have people leave her and to think that the reason that people leave her is because she's weak because of how her previous team treated her just like rips my heart out because that's not why Oryang and Bam left that's not why that happened and I know that's probably something that she knows on some level but because of her own insecurities and I'm sure the like abandonment that you feel when like your whole team is like we don't want you here anymore because you're too weak she can't get past that being part of it I'm sure that she feels desperate right because she can't take on 
all of Foog. She can't fix this problem of why is Oryang a human ignition weapon. Like, she can't fix those big problems. So she has to focus on something that she can do proactively. And the thing that she can do is be stronger and hope that is enough to at least have them not leave, at least have her along while they're trying to do their own things. So I get it. And she's a kid too, so it breaks my heart even more to think that there's only so much that she can do and there's only so much that she can understand, even though she's obviously gone through a lot with being in the tower, but she's still limited to how she can problem solve it. I just want her to have all of the hugs and to have people to just be there and support her and know that Team Sweet and Sour is here to stay. Obviously, there's more to that group than just let's have the strongest people be here. And then, of course, getting this new Mad Dog character joined into the whole fray makes me nervous because he seems quite scary, quite powerful. I know we gotta like up the ante now that like we're getting into more stuff and you need to like have some stakes to it so we need some conflict but still i would prefer if if we didn't decapitate anybody important uh, nobody at all honestly i prefer nobody at all but especially one of the characters that i've grown to care about i don't entirely trust this series not to start killing off people that i like because even though some characters have died that are like more on the outskirts and still get in my heart i will never forgive what happened to nya but we haven't had any of the really like core characters have anything happen with the exception of the whole bomb thing. But like, I don't trust the series to not do it eventually. <laughs> like at this point, I'm like, it hasn't, I can see it happening though. I feel like they're just like waiting to lull me into a false sense of security, still on edge. But we're just sort of like getting into the workshop battles and winding up. I like that we're focusing on some character things. There are a lot of things that these characters have to get past because we had set up some things with them. And then with the conflicts that happened before actually getting into the workshop battles, a lot of things were built up. A lot of insecurities with these characters that they're going to have to work through if they want to get to a point where they can focus and survive this game, right? These are like serious fights and potentially life or death situations. And if they're constantly doubting themselves and bringing these weaknesses that they see in themselves forward, they're not going to be able to focus on what's going on. So we'll have to wait and see, but you can click this playlist to go and see my previous reactions or you can subscribe to me next time I post a Tower of God video and I will see you in the next video. Bye!